how do you prepare for, for job interviews? For those of you that don't know me, my name's Lee. I've been a recruiter for the best part of 20 years and I have set in thousands of job interviews over the years. And you can tell, right, within the first five, six minutes, how well prepared somebody is. And why is it important to be prepared? Well, you'd want to show the interviewer that one, you have come prepared to this important business meeting, which is exactly what an interview is, right? But secondly, it gives you way more confidence and way more power when you go into that job interview. So these are the types of things that I would research and prepare before my job interview. So firstly, make sure you know the job description inside out, because ultimately that is what the hiring manager is assessing you against, right? So make sure you know what are the essential skills, what is the essential experience, and how do your skills and your experience align against that job description? But then also make sure you know your CV inside out. Now, if you've told the truth on your CV, which you should do, then you should know it inside out as well. But if the interviewer asks you the question, walk me through your CV, you want to make sure that the words coming out of your mouth match what you've written on your CV. So make sure you know your CV inside out. This is especially true if you've tailored or you've customized your CV for that particular role. Make sure you understand that version of it. So you know the job description inside out, you know your CV inside out. Next, you want to research the company. And when I say research the company, it's not about knowing how many employees they've got or knowing how many offices they've got or when they were established. Like none of that stuff really matters. The stuff that you want to research is why does the business exist? Like who does it serve? Who are its customers? Who is its competition? What are its values? What's its mission statement? And then you can start to understand how this particular role aligns to the business objectives and the part that you would potentially play in helping the business achieve its objectives. But you don't want to just research the company so that you can reel off the facts and you can relate your experience against the company's values and objectives and mission statement. You want to research the company because then you can ask really insightful questions of the interviewers towards the end of the interview. And you really want to make them targeted. You want to make your questions about the company, about the role, not just really generic questions like, what is the culture like here? That's not the type of stuff that you want to be asking, but we'll come on to questions that you want to ask the interviewer and that you want to prepare beforehand um, later on. Also a note on Glassdoor. So it's always useful to have a quick look on Glassdoor to see what people are saying about the company, right? Now, the thing about Glassdoor, you kind of have to take it with a little bit of a pinch of salt because there are two types of people that leave reviews on Glassdoor, a bit like TripAdvisor. One, people who have had a really, really bad experience and they need to vent or rant about it. Now, normally they're in the minority. The second type of person that leaves a Glassdoor review much like TripAdvisor, is because they have been asked to leave a review or they have been incentivized to leave a review. Leave a positive review on TripAdvisor and you'll be entered into a draw to win a holiday or win a meal or whatever. Same with Glassdoor. Please leave a review on Glassdoor. Companies are asking employees to leave positive reviews. Again, that's in the minority. Now, the average Joe very, very rarely leaves a review on Glassdoor. Same as TripAdvisor. So take the Glassdoor reviews with a pinch of salt. Now, the reason that I'm saying it's useful to have a look on Glassdoor is because there might be some useful information in there that is based on fact. So, for example, if they say in the, co in the comments on Glassdoor, we were 100% remote, and now they are making us all come back into the office, that is fact. That's not an opinion. A little bit like TripAdvisor. If one of the reviews says the restaurant shuts really early, it shuts at 8 p.m., you can kind of take that as a fact. What you can't take as fact is the meal wasn't very tasty because that's really, really subjective. A little bit like 
on Glassdoor when they say the work culture is really toxic. It's very subjective. So by all means, take a look on Glassdoor, but don't take what you read as fact. Use it to inform your the rest. Use it to inform the rest of your research rather than relying on it as gospel. Now, the other thing you want to do when it comes to preparing for your interview, and I'm really surprised the number of people that don't do this, is you want to research your interviewer. Because the interviewer is going to be your manager if you get this job. And your manager has a massive impact on your career. They determine the types of projects you will work on. They will be the person that you have to go and confess to if you make a mistake. How will they handle it? Will you get a, will you get a proper bollocking for it? Or is it okay and they'll coach you through it and, and help you learn from it? Um, will they hold you back? Will they develop you? Do they look like they will be a great mentor? Do they look like someone that you would enjoy working for and that you could learn from? They're the types of things that you want to be looking for when you are researching your manager. So go and have a look on LinkedIn. Find out more about them. Are they a first time manager? Is this job the first time as a manager? Because you can ask them questions about it in the interview. You know, you, you can say, look, I had a look at your, your profile on LinkedIn and I noticed that this is your first management role in 12 months ago. You were doing the role that I'm interviewing for right now. How have you find the move into management? That will tell you a lot about their leadership style. So always research the interviewer, particularly the hiring manager, before you go for your interview. But then some of the other things you want to do is you want to look for things you've got in common. Do you know some of the same people? Did you go to the same university? Have you worked in similar places? Are your career paths similar? Um, do you support the same sports teams? Have you got similar interests? All these types of things help build rapport in that small talk stage at the very beginning of the interview. And yes, companies will try and be really objective during their hiring processes, but let's be honest, most interviewers and hiring managers are not very good at interviewing. There is so much bias in the hiring process, it's unreal. So if you can find some common ground to build rapport and influence the decision at the end, it's only gonna benefit you, right? Um, so make sure you review your interviewers, especially the hiring manager before your interview. Now, the other thing that you want to do is research the people that work in that team, the team that you are interviewing to join. And why would you want to do that? Well, you want to see how long they've stuck around. Have they been there for a while? If they do, it says it's a nice place to work. People would leave if it wasn't. If people leave quite often, then that's another story. It's obviously not a great place to work if that team is turning over team members quite frequently. But then also, have people been promoted there? You'll have a look on the LinkedIn profile. If you can see that someone's been in that team for a while or they've been in that company for a while, but they've progressed every year or two, then it's a great place to develop your career because people are being promoted. So you want to research the people that work in that team as well. And then the next thing that you want to do is you want to start researching and practicing the most common types of interview questions in, for, for that particular role. So you've got some generic questions like, what is your biggest weakness? Or why are you looking to leave your current company? Have a look on my, on my blog, have a look on my website. You'll find the most common types of interview questions there and how to answer them. But one of the things you can also do, and again, this is on my blog, is you can use ChatGPT to help you. So I could go into ChatGPT and say, I'm interviewing for the head of talent acquisition role at Google. What types of interview questions should I expect? And it would give me a load of examples. So you can use ChatGPT again on my blog. There's loads of example prompts in there that you can use to get them to throw up interview questions for you. And again, if you look on my blog, I have got um, the ultimate, uh, ultimate guide to job searching. And in that ebook, there's like 180 plus um, behavioral style interview questions. So again, go and take a look at that and that will give you a, a list of all of the most common interview questions. But then what you also want to do before you go to the interview is you want to prepare the questions that you're going to ask the interviewer. So again, look at my blog. There's loads of example questions there. Use ChatGPT to help you as well. But these are generally the types of questions that I like to ask. 
what does the first six months look like for the person joining this team? What that will do is it will give you an indication of what's expected of you, what's the learning curve expected to be, are they going to be on your case from day one to start delivering, or are you going to be able to ease your way into it? Another question that I like to ask is, why do you like working here? Again, the interviewer will tell you all the reasons that they like working there. But then what I would also ask is, what's the biggest challenge about working here? Because no job is sunshine, skills and rainbows. Every job and every company has its challenges. Now, asking those two questions is way more powerful than asking what's the company culture like. Um, another question that I like to ask is, what's your leadership style like? You know, what will it be like to work with you? Because I want to know, you're going to be my boss. I want to know whether you're going to be good for my career or whether you're going to slow my career down. So that's a question I would ask. And there's loads more questions you can ask. One of the really good questions actually that you can ask, probably more towards the beginning of the interview process, when you're speaking to the recruiter and you start talking about salary, is ask them what the salary banding for the role is. If they say it's between 60K and 80K, ask them what skills and experience separate those that are paid 60K and those that are paid 80K. And then they will reel off all of the things that would get you a salary towards the upper end of the salary banding. They are the skills that you want to talk about most during the interview. They are the skills and the experience that you will lean on when it comes to negotiating your, your salary. Um, they are all the main things that I would do to prepare for a job interview. Yes, I would check Google Maps. Yes, I would find out what the dress code is. Um, but those are the main, main things that most people overlook. When it comes to preparing for an interview, you are not just researching the company and you know when it was established and how many employees it's got. None of that stuff will help you prepare for an interview. You want to know the job description, know your CV, research the company, who, is its, who are its customers, what are its objectives, what's been in the news about them most recently, Research your interviewers. Do they look like they would be a good manager? Can you find anything in common with them that help you build some rapport during that interview process? Research the team members. Make sure you practice the most commonly asked interview questions. Use ChatGPT to generate some role-specific questions. And then finally, make sure you've prepared lots of questions to ask the interviewer during the hiring process. And they're the main things. Um, if you like this video, um, have a look in the description below. You'll find links to my other socials where I do more stuff like this. Um, but I do quite like writing as well. So I've got a blog, um, the recruitingplaybook.co.uk. So check that out as well. If you like this video, do subscribe, do follow, do like, and do share it with anyone who's looking for a job right now. Cheers.